So hi guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Yechi here and today's video is something I'm really excited to finally be talking about. I have got a request for this video. I have said I'm going to film it on my Instagram story but finally I'm actually putting pen on paper and filming this video. So this is about media kit and rate card. If you know me, you know I'm really passionate about it. It's one of the documents that I don't joke with as a creative as a blogger, as a content creator, guys, I do not jerk with it. I feel like it's a necessity if you really want to be taken seriously in this industry. And it's just nice because it saves you from talking and speaking a lot of grammar all the time. So it's really important. So this video, I'm going to go in depth. I'm going to talk about media kits and race card. I'm going to tell you guys what they are for, their differences and what should be in these documents. Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to start with defining what both of them are and I'm going to be using simple terms that you guys can relate to it. So for a media kit, a media kit is simply the CV of a blogger. It's a blogger CV, it's a content creator CV, it's a YouTuber CV, it's an influencer CV. That's how I put it. Basically, it is a document that tells the brand what you can do, what you've done before, um, past work. Um, a little bit about yourself and also your contact details. That is just a summary of a media kit. Now, a rate card. A rate card is um, a blogger's menu. I put it that way. That's the best way for me to define a rate card. So, a rate card covers your services and how much they go for. Your different services and how much they go for. Whether single services or joint services, collaboration, sponsored posts, how much they go for. That is it. That's a menu. Now we're going to go into details about what should be in your media kit and what should be in your rate card. But let's begin with a media kit. Okay, so the first thing that should be in your media kit is about you and about your brand. So you have to talk a little bit about you, the blogger, and you, uh, your brand. So your brand, um, talk about what your brand is all about. Fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. What is the goal of your brand like? Is it to teach the everyday woman how to dress? Is it to teach the everyday woman how to be more confident about herself? Is it to show um, travel spots, location reviews, this kind of thing? Like, what's your brand about? You have to talk about that. Now, you don't need to put your life history and your family history in your about. Keep it really short. Four lines is enough for about you, about your brand. Try to keep it really short because the person that is reading it, they have other things to look at. They have a business to run. So don't bore them. Keep it really, really short. Cool. Um, next thing would be a photo of you and your logo. So a photo of you, try to make it a very good and clean picture. Um, try to make it a headshot. Most things I read online actually recommended a headshot and a headshot is what I use. So make it a headshot. Make sure it's clean and crisp. Avoid using selfies. With the whole filter snapchat filter your whole face edited try to avoid it a very good clean picture is fine and really good something that people have like on their linkedin profile you can also like have one and put it on your media kit because as much as oh you're a blogger and your your work is not like the normal serious work there's still some form of seriousness in it and you have to respect that so then also your brand colors have to be on your media kit any documents that pertains to you your brand color has to be there so your brand colors they just have to be there so now on your brand colors you don't have to use your brand color to design the whole thing for example if your brand color is red you can have some elements of red in it like red blocks red lines red like um designs like maybe some form of triangle or circle don't go and make your font color red because you, it's still a document it should still um run on the normal white and black um, basis so try to make it try to be sure that okay something that can actually be read there's some people that once they see things that are too colorful they literally just scroll and you don't know exactly who is going to be receiving this document you don't know the person like one-on-one -on -one. you don't always know the person so you want to make sure that it's something that can fit a lot of people and nothing is better than a simple black and white but you can always have some element of color in it just to beautify it and let it be your brand color avoid using too many disturbing colors on your media kit keep it simple and classic so for your media kit have your contact details too it's really important have your email address even though you'll be sending it um, via mail 
but sometimes I send my media kit um, on Instagram so just for formality's sake I always put my email address there I also have my phone number just in case the brand needs to talk further with me maybe um, call or whatsapp or any platform that I use my what my number for maybe iMessage anyone they want to reach out to me on so I put my phone number there so we can talk further so you can do that it's optional if you want to talk only via mail then put your mail there and just let it be only mail you discuss with brands so your blog link should also be there the, your blog link is it a blog you're running or your youtube channel try to put out your name on youtube your youtube name should also be your media kit whatever um platform is like your strongest ensure your link is attached there another thing that should be on your media kit is your social media statistics so how many followers you have on this platform what's your engagement like on this platform your blog statistics also how many viewers do you get per month how many views how many readers do you have per month your subscribers how many email subscribers do you have different things your youtube channel how many subscribers you have whatever platform it is that you're using put it out there but what i would advise you to do is try not to put out all your platforms because most of the time you don't have so much following like on tiktok i don't even have up to 100 followers so it makes no sense putting tiktok on my media kit i don't know if you guys understand so put your strongest platform if it's twitter instagram and your blog put it there and just let it be that these are platforms that you use if it's youtube twitter and if it's youtube twitter and facebook then put it there. these are your strongest platforms that you connect with your audience because these brands are actually looking for your platforms that are active are growing and are really really engaging so that's what i would advise you to do don't put all your platforms there put the ones that are relevant put the ones that when you push out content you know that you will get response to remember you're trying to sell yourself so try not to shoot yourself in the leg by putting low um by putting profiles that have low audience or engagement so next thing will be demographics and demographics talks about your audience so your audience um gender age location those kind of things are important you can get your demographics from instagram check your insight you can also get using google analytics if you have a blog and also your youtube channel it to show you where your audience is coming from the gender based on percentage the age range also people that are watching and their interests also so you can just take like three my own i have location and i have gender so you can take two or three just to add to your media kit um next thing would be brands you have worked with so your past work if you're a new blogger if you haven't really worked with brand then you can omit this and skip it but the minute you start working with brand ensure to update it and then sure to put it out say that okay these are the brands you've worked with i also try to arrange my brands i've worked with from the top brands like some of the top brands i've worked with simply because the person that is reading this might not have so much attention span so the person might just be browsing through so the person might just pick like the first three or the first four or the first five so i arranged that according to top so i'm trying to sell myself yep i also try to put brands from different fields like lifestyle beauty fashion brands that work with so i'm not just centered on one thing like i said i'm trying to sell myself so i'm telling these brands that okay i've worked with this brand i'm actually good two i've worked with different brands so i'm quite versatile then lastly i would say talk about services that you offer talk about the services you can offer this one just has to be straightforward and simple social media promotion um instagram takeovers product reviews location reviews different things product giveaways not too long just say the things that you can do for this brand simple and straightforward that would be it for media kits um your media kit you want to make sure it's a really clean document something that would be good to look at good to read well designed and something that fits your brand story your brand um your brand aesthetics your brand colors your brand font also should be involved in your media kit really important now moving on to rate card so rate card like i said is your brand's menu talks about the things that you offer and how much they go for so the same way you walk to a restaurant they tell you that, okay we have starters here starters go for this amount that's how it is for your rate card so rate card just your service you want to be as detailed as you can but at the same time not make it too too long so my rate card is just one page talks about instagram post one instagram post and one instagram story this is how much you'll be getting for it i try to group my things together one blog post anytime i post i always share on my instagram so one blog post and one one blog post and one 
Instagram post will go for this amount. Same thing for YouTube promotion. That's how it is. So that's how I put it there. This is how much I will be charging. I put the price in Naira and I put the price in dollar simply because I don't just get um, work from Nigerian brands. Sometimes I reach out to foreign brands. Sometimes I get mails from foreign brands too. Yeah, I also have um packages so packages like i'm going to continue using the menu reference the way you have platters in a restaurant platter fits four platter fits six that's what i have for my race card so i have like um packages that are grouped so in case you want like a one month of video promotion i'll tell you what you get for one month video promotion package you can decide to make yours into a packet two blog post three instagram posts and four instagram story will go for this amount some brands like to jump on that offer and i think it's really really amazing so that is it for rate card that's it for media kits i do offer this as a service i have been designing rate card and media kits for about a year now i think it's over a year yeah so i offer this as a service if you want me to design your rate card and your media kits it goes for five thousand but this lockdown period i'm going to be doing a discount for four thousand naira so i'm going to design your rate card your media kit is going to be one document and we're also going to have like a price consultation so if you're new and you don't know how much to charge i'm open to doing a price consultation with you and we'll design your rate card and media kit using your brand colors your brand font everything you give to me i'm going to work with it and make sure you have a badass media kit and rate card to get you the brands that you want to work with so guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it if you're not subscribed I really don't know why it's taking you this long please do subscribe to my channel and i have more videos coming up for you guys next week yeah so enjoy i'll see you guys in my next video